Um, basically, after pulling the energy, balancing it, then I used it as a spring force to, to get me to uh, the next level. It could be symbolically the next level, understanding the next level of energetic and physical development, the next level of discipline, um, whatever next level you're wor working towards. Um, you're in control of the intent of the consciousness of the energy you pull into, um, especially if it's light energy, if it's these really, you know, pure energies, you then manipulate it into intent or, and in your own reflection and projection of what is pure energy as a manifestation in your life and to reflect the manifestations in, in the collective life. And so, knowing how to get this energy will help you know how to continually project good things, continually project good things. And that's pretty important because, yeah, it feels good to continually project good things. So I, so I had to leap this, this gap thing, you know, using it, bouncing to the next stage of the Puma, and then it was like, boom, had to do these three different, you know, ah, but before I leapt to, leapt to the next stage, that was the most beautiful part. There were three options to take. It was like I knew exactly that I could go to the inside, I could go to the yang side, Yin being negative, Yang being positive. Or I could go down the center. And um, I knew to go, I, I felt to go to the inside. So I jumped, I jumped that way. Um, different, different ways to reach the same end. Getting on the inside, I'm confronted with having to do these a yin empowering half lotus type break dance looking on your head and hand stand balancing stuff then what happened was there was this like perfect seat again to actually this was this was building more power in in the money border chakra the third chakra because it was it, it was like this seat thing that uh, that uh, bent bent your leg and, and it was with the left leg out and in a position so that you were again cycling this yin energy, cycling this yin energy, but also with a lot of focus on your abdomen and and up to into the chest because of how the body had to main, maintain itself within this rock rock posture. So. Activating yin energy within the Manipura chakra, and you know whatever you would like to receive um, to help you manifest his action relationships, maybe some sort of uh, funding, or then you you find the missing piece of. Uh, you find a material that's a missing piece of a project you are in the midst of creating and you know so whatever what you want what you need to attract to you to manifest what you want to manifest you get the yin energy in the money Manipura so then after that I was not allowed to further the studies on the inside of the um, temple of the Puma. And the next video, I will tell you about what I did on the Yang side of the temple of the Puma after finishing up on the Yin side. I was, I guess, you know, I was initiated as a baby Puma warrior, and as I continue to uh, discipline myself to the practice. I can continue to understand the energetic uh, methods of this of this consciousness, becoming this spiritual Puma warrior. 
which you know will just integrate with all the levels of consciousness that I am. Either way, in the next video, I'll get to you with what happened with the Yang side.